Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Data Sphere Training with me Anubhav on YouTube. This session is sponsored by AnubhavTrainings.com. In the last episode, we talked about what is the importance of multi-dimension models in SAP Data Sphere. In today's session, I will show you how to create your first multi-dimension model, which is an analytical model in SAP Data Sphere to be used in SAP Analytics Cloud at later point of time. If you like my video series and my work, please like, share and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon. Also kindly share this video with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free SAP Data Sphere overview training with us on YouTube. For detailed training on SAP Data Sphere, feel free to visit us on anubavtrainings.com. So let's get started and we will create a new analytical model. So let's come here to the data builder and you see new analytical model, let's choose that. And super easy that we can simply look forward for our objects available over here. So you see all these objects which we had created or developed in the past. So the one which we work with was sales order view. Yes, so this is the one. I drag and drop that. I say add all analytical, all dimension attributes and measure attributes to my analytical model. At the moment, we don't have association. If we would have had association, we could have added that. Click on import. You can see it has been added. If there are associations, you will see an arrow mark to show also associations, which is good. Let's give the name of the model. AM. AM means analytical model. sales orders and here we will just rename the technical name to am underscore technical name cannot have a space yeah so let's rename it analytic am am means analytical model it's a good naming convention to choose and as i told you previously in the slide that we can add different variety of content over here to be able to calculate multiple things as part of the system so let me show you adding a calculated measure so i click on that and I would like to calculate the difference between the gross amount and the and the tax amount, let's say. Gross amount minus tax amount, I want to calculate a new measure. So I can give expand this and I can give a name. So here I can choose uh, uh, new net amount. And let's say I come here and I say parenthesis, gross amount, this is the property. So I just go inside parenthesis, I click this, and you see there's a mathematical operator negative with tax amount. And I want to do into 0 0.90 because I'm giving a 10% discount now to my business. So you can see there are different options to choose. You can use dimensions in the formulas. You can use functions which are provided by SAP. So for example, I want to round off this whole number. So I can use absolute function. So I can pass that and I can now put my formula inside like this. You can create a function. So you can see each function documentation is given. These are the functions provided by SAP out of the box. Many of these categories are like numeric functions, cast function to cast data type conversion, date function, integer function. A lot of these functions are out of the box provided by SAP. You can see the function categories, numeric, miscellaneous, and data type conversion category. We have operators to choose. We can use if condition, case expressions, yes, and or between is null. All of these different operators we can choose along with a complete expression. So this is a complete formula builder which is provided by SAP. Now you can see we have a validate button with which you can cross check and validate your formula. If your formula is okay or not, if there's an issue, you'll get to know that here. For example, let me do a mistake. I'll remove this end of parenthesis. If I just uh, validate, you see it is giving me an error that the formula is not correct. So if I just put add that, validate, there is no issue anymore. So this is how you can add the formula. So that's my new calculated measure I have done, wherein I can use a formula builder, a very lightweight formula builder to do this calculation. Remember the good practices all the calculations should be done in your data sphere layer. 
you don't want to transfer data to analytic cloud and there do all the calculation that's a dirty approach you should embed all the logic all the calculations here itself because you want to transfer only the ready data which directly can be projected to the to the dashboards in analytic cloud for easy consumption purpose so i've added a expression i've added a formula to the analytical model all right so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of sap data sphere as usual please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on sap data sphere sap analytics cloud sap btp ui5 fury or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud so do not forget to visit www.anubhavtrainings.com also shoot us an email on contact at anubhavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of sap with that anubhav signing out once again thank you so much and i will see you in my next episode